Hey you guys, this is Gabriel Ryder bringing you another video for OfficialGolfReviews.com. We review clubs, clothes, accessories, etc, etc, yada yada, enchiladas. Which reminds me, I'm a little bit, hung a little bit hungry. But uh, today we're going to review the Burner Superfast 2.0 TP driver, okay? We're going to talk about the pros, we're going to talk about the cons, and the differences between the TP version versus the regular Burner Superfast 2.0, okay? So first thing you're gonna notice at address is the head. Now, the regular version and the Burner TP version are both 460 cc's, but the TP version has a slightly appearing head. Uh, the shape of the head's different, so the head actually looks a little bit smaller than the regular version. Also, you're gonna notice is the club face for the TP version is gonna be square to open, uh, more to, top players, professionals like to take the left the left out of play and so they want that square to open club face. And because of that they also put a weight in the TP version only as you can see in the toe. And wherever the weight is in the head the club face is going to slow down there. So the weight's in the toe, the heel's going to speed up through the ball. The toe slows down, the heel speeds up and that's going to help promote that left to right ball flight. Another thing is the length. The regular version is a lot longer, I think about an inch to an inch and a half longer than the TP version. Uh, more professionals, lower handicapped players are trying to get more accuracy than distance. So this club has a low spin head, it's made to go right, it's made to take the left course, the left side of the course out of play. Um, so it's a good shaped head, it's smaller, it's square to open, and it has a weight in the toe to promote, promote that ball going right. Now the cons, and there isn't too many, is I wouldn't say it's as versatile as the R11. The R11 has the adjustable sole plate, it has the movable weight, and it has the flight control technology. Now the good thing I think TaylorMade does is blending their advancements into the club. The R11, you put it down, you don't see all that technology. It looks like a standard, classic, good looking club. Uh, they try to stay away from square club faces and those funky sounds. Uh, that's why TaylorMade is the number one driver out in the market. So not as versatile, but this is a club is made for a player who's looking to take the left side out of play and wants a good looking, smaller looking head uh, for the better player. So yeah, that's the review. I uh, hope you guys like it. Make sure you go to officialgolfreviews.com for more reviews on the latest and newest gear and equipment. I'm going to tee this bad boy up and hit it out in the park, all right? I'm going to show you what a good swing looks like. Not bad. So this is Gabriel Ryder saying thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.